you can see example for this item for the pipe sleeve on the right hand side for this photo this is the example where the pipe has to pass through this sleeve this one is known as sleeve in order to pass through to the concrete slab so if you would like to install this one inside the concrete slab there are possibility that the pipe will be broken okay so there are certain project where the pipe sleeve had been installed in order to make sure that the pipe is in a good condition Okay, so every time you see this information, then you have to measure. This is the example of the repair uh, sleeve available for this particular item. Now, how you would like to measure? We have to measure in number according to this particular clause. You have to refer to the pipe layout. At the same time, you have to read the specification. Is there any information mentioned that the pipe sleeve has to be installed every time? They have to pass through either the concrete slab or maybe the floor slab area, okay? Now, uh, do the thinking. This is the example for the pipe sleeve, where some people may not think that this is the pipe sleeve. It can be the same material as the pipe itself, and it also be in the, uh, in the other form. Maybe the plastic will be covered with high uh, densified polyethylene pipe, or maybe you can see this one is in rubbery type. So, this is actually the example of the pipe sleeve. Okay, if we ask you whether this item is considered as the pipe sleeve, the answer is yes. Okay, you can refer to Q.11.6. This is the example for the pipe installed at the basement wall. You can see on the left hand side, the pipe that is installed at the basement wall, where the basement wall normally made from concrete or shear wall. This one is made from PVC pipe where the cover for the pipe itself also um, made from uh, the PVC sleeve. Okay, so there are possibility that the material are similar. Then in order to join between the sleeve and the pipe itself, the connection is using silicon. Okay, in this particular project, you can see on the left hand side, they are plastic material and then, or we can say here is plastic pipe. On the right hand side, you can see copper pipe. So if I ask you how many items to be measured for the pipe work, you have to first consider the pipe itself. So number one, plastic pipe. Number two, the copper pipe. Once you see that there are two different material in one line or one running pipe work or one running pipe work system, there must be one more item considered as special connection. So item number three to be considered here is special connection where we have to install plastic pipe to copper pipe connector. So this one is another item. Item number three, special connection. Okay, since you can see the word sleeve here, this is item number four, where the pipe sleeve also has to be measured separately every time the pipe has to pass through the basement wall. So in this example, there are four items to be measured. You can double check this information in the layout plan and also read the specification, general specification normally on the right hand side of your construction drawing. Okay. okay. The next item that we have to consider still under the pipe wall itself for the complicated project, for the commercial project, sometimes you have pipe work support. For the residential project, maybe single housing, terrace housing, normally you did not see this. Okay. The pipe work support symbol had been shown in the right hand side here. You can also check in your uh, symbol and hatching in the construction drawing the meaning of the support and the symbol of the support for this particular pipe work. There are a lot. These are all the example of the support. Okay, standard pipe work support shall be given in the description, right? And then uh, what you have to write in the description. Number one, you have to write the type of the pipe work support itself. Then what is the spacing of the support? Since the item has to be measured in number, so you need to know the layout plan for the pipe. And then you have to divide with the spacing. Let's say uh, this is the pipe work from the layout plan. Okay, This one may be 20 mm diameter pipe work. So if you know what is the length here, say 3000 mm, and then here they are pipe work support. You can see something like this in 300 cc center to sensor, uh, center to center. Then you can divide with 300 to get the numbers of pipe work support. Okay, because the item has to be measured in number, enumerated has to be measured in number. 
Okay, these are uh, another few examples. You can see the part word support. This is the example for the constant support. Then you have variable support. And then uh, normally if this one had been installed on the ceiling area, they are using hanger. So every time you see the word hanger, also you should know that this is the example of uh, pipe work support. For the photo here, normally you can see for the external installation. Okay, uh, external installation where the pipe may be considered for the uh, cold water, maybe for the hot water, or maybe sometimes for the gas installation, and also for the firefighting, where you have to put maybe on the uh, on the floor area or maybe uh, on the concrete plane or the support itself. Okay, the components such as the clip, uh, the saddle, this is the example given in the SMM. You can see these particular keywords, the pipe hook, the bracket, uh, the hangers normally used to fix the support for more than one pipe. This one has to be measured separately. Standard type of the pipe work support measured separately, but let's say you see this particular support stated in the drawing or shown in the drawing as what had been shown in the SMM in terms of the listing, you have to measure separately. That means the hanger should not be measured together with the standard pipe work support. Okay? You can see this example in the complicated design of the plumbing uh, installation for maybe a factory and also a big commercial project. Okay, the pipe work has a lot of support here and there. Can you see this one? You can see this one. Okay, the hanger has been installed over there. And then for this particular support, they are using I-beam. Okay, so this I-beam has to be measured in number, stating the specification of the I-beam, what is the dimension, what is the height, what is the width of the flange, and then um, how this particular I-beam has been installed as the support member. And that one is installed for what type of the piping. That has to be clearly stated in the description. Right? Now, the next item that we have to measure, this is under separate item. It is not um, under the pipe work because connection to the main is compulsory to get the sources of the water. Connection to the public main uh, may be carried out by the public undertaking or local authority. Normally, for this particular item, we have to pay a certain amount of money to the local authority in order to get the sources of water. So this item has to be measured as provisional sum if you look at uh, the provisional sum, let's say this is the tree line in your dimension paper, you just have to write here provisional sum. So the amount of the provisional sum that need to be written in the, uh, in the description, maybe you can just put in blank, unless the amount for this connection to the public main is given in the description, okay, or is given in the specification or the notes in the drawing. You can see the detail of this example of the drawing. Okay, look at this photo. On the left hand side, installed and maintained by the local authority or the water authority. Let's say in in Selangor we have Shabas. Okay, and then in another state you have the specific water authority for that particular water supply. And then on the right hand side, you can see here installed and maintained by the building owner. In order for you to get the water itself, you have to measure this item as provisional sum, okay? Okay, the next item that we have to measure after we finish measurement for the pipe wall and also a connection to the main, we have the item for equipment and ancillaries, right? Uh, the, main, the main item that we have to measure are the equipment and ancillaries. Number one, we have valve, okay? So there are basically a few types of the valve that you have to recap from the previous topic that you have learned in building services. And then number two, we have to measure the cistern or known as water tank. The cistern or water tank is only applicable for the indirect system, okay? Because we still have the direct system where the water supply are actually go directly to every single outlet of the tap, okay? type of pipe work. Then um, this is the example. You can see the item has to be measured under Q.19.1. Under equipment and ancillaries, the first clause under Q.19.1, it has to be measured in number. What you have to do, you have to check in the drawing 
is there any water tank available uh, and then where is the location of the water tank then number two you have to check where is the location of the stop and the gate valve we have two items number one stop valve and number two we have the gate valve how you want to know whether this is stop valve or gate valve we have to look at the function of the valve itself because normally in the drawing you you only can see this symbol it's, it, it is actually looks like butterfly symbol uh, sometimes they mention GV, okay? sometimes they just mention V, sometimes you can see SV all the time, but then uh, the word stop valve itself is not uh, high pressure all the time. On the right hand side, this is the example uh, where equipment and auxiliaries has to be measured for the hot water system, simple vertical boiler, so the boiler also part of the equipment that you have to measure if there are any package uh, item that required to be installed in the in the system itself you have to measure in conjunction with the manufacturer's detail where sometimes we have to put in the name of the catalog uh, sometimes for the certain project we have to mention what is the name of the uh, the name of the brand okay the branding name has to be stated sometimes and then uh, sometimes if they are specification uh, shown in the drawing or details shown in the drawing you have to write out as per drawing number what okay so number one can be based on the manufacturer detail standard number two if there are any catalog you have to write down and then if there are any specific drawing shown the design uh, of that particular system you have to uh, you have to write down as per drawing number that's said in the description okay this is uh, what had been stated under Q.19.2 this is the example for the rectangular co water storage tank. You can see uh, in this water storage tank, uh, there are information for the bow valve and then um, the float valve, including the water flow, sorry, uh, overflow pipe. Then this water pipe uh, and this water supply main have been connected to the water tank. When you would like to write the description for the water tank, you have to write down what are the component inside the water tank that comes together because we did not measure the bore valve overflow pipe and uh, the outlet from the water tank separately we have to measure the water tank itself and what are the components for the water tank itself okay now uh, this is the next item after you measure for the water tank you have to measure the equipment support this equipment support is different with the pipe work support because uh, the equipment support can be bigger and it is used for different purposes okay one of the example you always see is the galvanized steel tie rod used for the supporting of the big size of the water tank and then sometimes you can see the concrete plane this one concrete plane or maybe the concrete base used to put in uh, the uh, used to receive this particular water pipe and then if this one is installed on the on the surfaces of the ceiling normally they they have the platform for the ceiling uh, that is made from the concrete slab okay so in case the um, water tank is installed outside the building okay you can see for the uh, commercial project for inti and then also for a big size of the project they have the specific location to put in the water tank that has to be measured separately in number okay and then you can see here shall be so described you have to write down based on basically the material the kind and quality and how to install okay now uh, the next example for the equipment and ancillaries applicable for the hot water system you all you always see the boiler this is the boiler and um, this is actually the support for the item the support for the equipment so that has to be measured separately unless this support is actually come together with the boiler so you can put cw complete with the support okay um, now let's we look at the example of the item that we have to measure specifically for the valve okay as what i told you before let's say you look at from the layout plan this is the pipe work and then this is the valve let's say this is the tap Okay, this is the tap, maybe the pillar tap inside the toilet. So basically the rule is you should have one valve for every single 
outlet. Even though you can see nowadays in one room or in one bathroom, sometimes you only have one or two, one or two stop valve, even though there are five outlets. So that is a different story if they are different. But principally, every single outlet of the sanitary fitting has to be installed with the valve. Why? Because we would like to control the flow of the water in case you would like to change the water tap, in case you would like to clear all the blockage and so on. Okay, so this is what you have uh, to check in the drawing, number one. Number two, we have to identify whether the the valve itself is used as the high pressure or the low pressure. How you would like to know that? The word SV, sometimes the symbol mentioned SV, stop valve. This is the high pressure uh, valve. This is the valve that is used to receive the um, high pressure water system. Okay. Normally, you can see the SV before the water tank. Any valve before the water tank, uh, including the valve outs uh, outside, the building or maybe you can see first after the water meter that is known as the stop valve as long as you see the valve before the water tank we call this one as sv okay this is also to recap what you have learned before number two the gate valve this is the valve that normally installed before the sanitary fitting or um, more accurately this is after the water main or water system or water tank. All these items has to be measured in number. Okay, I'll give you one example. <clears throat> uh, let's say this is the pipe work system. Okay, this is the pipe work system for the kitchen sink. Okay, for the kitchen sink, the water come from, this is the water meter. You have one, you have one SV. Because this water is the direct water bef before it go to the kitchen sink, Water tap, I put here kitchen sink. So the valve that is used before the kitchen sink here is SV. Why? Even though this one is before the uh, before the um, sanitary fitting or the outlet of the water, but because the water here is high pressure, there is no water tank. It is the water system that is come directly from the main supply. So the valve that needs to be installed is SV. Okay, in case, let's say, this is the pipe work system, and then go to the top, then uh, you have the water tank. This is the water tank. From the water tank, you have the outlet that go to the bathroom. So you have one tap here. So the valve that is coming from the water tank, this is known as GV, and then the valve before the water tap here also known as GV. Can you see that? That is the difference. Before water tank, we, we have stop valve. After water tank, we have the gate valve. Okay, look at the example of the description. Always remember, we have to write the kind and quality of the material as our heading, so you don't have to repeat uh, the kind and quality again, including the uh, coding of the coding or the British standard for that particular material. Okay. The diameter for this water pressure or, uh, sorry, high pressure stop valve or gate valve has to be um, similar to the type or the size of the pipe work. Let's say the kitchen sink here is using 19 mm diameter or 20 mm diameter. The stop valve at this particular line also should be similar sizes. Okay, so the SV here should be 19 mm or 20 mm as per the outlet of the uh, sanitary fitting itself. Same goes to this particular pipe work for the grid valve. If the pipe the, uh, valve or if the pipe work system here is 35 mm diameter, so along the way, the grid valve also should be similar sizes 25 mm diameter grid valve. Okay, if uh, you look at this example, the first one, high pressure screw down stop valve. Then, what you have to write down, jointing to what kind of pipe work. This is the example where the brass is installed at the, at the galvanized iron tubing. A uh, tubing is also known as the pipe work at both ends. Okay, why we call this one as both ends? Because normally you can see this is the uh, SV. What is the name of this valve? Uh, what is the name of this pipe? What is the name of this pipe at both ends? Okay, because if you look at this example, you have to write down the type of the 
pipe here, the type of the valve, uh, pipe here because this is how the valve looks like. The second example, a low pressure gate valve and then you have to mention jointing uh, for um, maybe PVC pipe or maybe UPVC pipe or any pipe that is relevant to your construction drawing. Okay, you can refer back to this example of the design for the gate valve, stop valve and so on. Sometimes you can see the design for the stop valve and the gate valve are similar, but then because the function is different, we have to measure separately. Okay, the function one is low pressure, another one is high pressure, you have to measure separately. Now, uh, look at this example for the item that you have to measure under water tank. There are a lot of design for the water tank. Okay, either it is in cylinder or whether that one is rectangular type. Uh, where some of the project, especially for the high rise building, you have uh, you have the duplicated system, double size system, uh, double system, and then um, in one residential project, sometimes you have single system inside, and then you have one tower outside the building. All of that has to be double checked. Okay, but remember, if the water tank uh, is installed inside the building, we have to measure this one under internal. But then, if the water tank is outside the building, you have to measure under external installation. Okay, why I need to mention this? Because I, I, I have seen that um, a lot of uh, projects nowadays, especially for the individual, for the individual uh, project, they have two uh, types of the system. One is inside the building, and then another one, you have, um, they have the tower. This tower is purposely used to install the water tank outside. So you have one inside and one outside. Remember uh, the principle earlier, we have to identify whether the cold water system or the hot water system is internal or external. Okay, so if this one is internal, you have to measure under internal. If they are water tank outside the building, then you have to measure under external. Or if they are both, then you have to measure both internal and external. Okay, these, uh, these are only example. In terms of the volume, in terms of the size, the height, all of these are the example where you can see from any brochure from the catalog and so on. Look at the example of the description. Uh, if the drawing give the specification in terms of the cylinder or in terms of gallon, in terms of the size, you have to follow that. Okay, if they only give you the size based on the based on the um, dimension, length, width, and depth, you have to follow that. Which one is given, you have to follow. If let's say they, they just give in gallons, so you may need to uh, check whether the, the design is in cylinder or maybe in rectangular or maybe in the squaring uh, shape, whatever that is available um, as shown in the specification. Okay, look at the description as well, continue. This water tank must be completed with the cover, automatic ball valve, you can see the detail, the ball valve is inside, this one, okay, and also complete with the overflow pipe. This overflow flow pipe come together when you buy the water tank, okay, the drain pipe as well. Then how the installation is fixing approximately how many mm high from the ground level or maybe from the ceiling system or from the from the ceiling area depends on the location of the water tank itself, okay. If this one is available inside the building, sometimes they say this one. So the water tank is installed maybe 500 from the ceiling level. If they are outside the building, sometimes they are located on the concrete plane or concrete base. Okay, so you have to mention from the ground level, what is the height? As long as there are information to, to mention how this water tank is being installed, that has to be written in the description. Okay, shall be so described. Now, let's look at the next item that required to be measured for the hot and water supply. We have insulation. I put here if any because this is only applicable when you would like to measure for hot water system that is normally centralized. Okay, if you buy the individual water system, uh, hot water system, normally you don't have to measure this insulation. You will see this one again when we measure for the next type of the ME works okay so generally uh, once you have the information to measure for the insulation 
you have to refer to clause Q.21, uh, Q.25, A until D. You have to measure this insulation uh, in meter normally with the similar length of the pipe work. Once you measure for the pipe work, you can take quantity to measure for the insulation. Right? Uh, it has to be measured separately uh, once you have the different size of the pipe because the cover for the insulation will be bigger or smaller according to the uh, size of the pipe itself. Okay, this is the example for the insulation that is applicable for the copper pipe that is normally used for the hot water supply system. Okay, working insulation around the ancillaries, for example, maybe uh, the clip or maybe uh, accessories for the pipe itself has to be measured uh, separately in number as extra over. Okay, this is if you have any ancillaries or maybe additional accessories that required to be uh, to be installed. Now, uh, look at this example. Uh, this is the example for the insulation for the equipment. Okay, working insulation over the flange and the pipe fitting and also the equipment has to be measured. Okay, uh, the first one that I did mention, ancillaries, you have... Uh, to measure separately, but then for the flange and any uh, pipe fitting shall be deemed to be included. Shall be deemed means you don't have to mention uh, any small, small connection for the uh, pipe fitting connected to the pipe work because it will cover all together. Okay, but then uh, if you have to mention for the insulation for the equipment, especially for the boiler, for the uh, hot water system, you have to measure in number, but stating the overall size of the unit. This is the example where you have to write the capacity, uh, the overall size in terms of the capacity or maybe in terms of the diameter for the boiler itself. Look at before and after. They install uh, the insulation for the boiler. Okay. Now, uh, the next item uh, that is compulsory to be measured for all types of the mechanical and uh, electrical installation, you have to measure for testing. Okay, testing shall be given in shall be given in item. You only have to write down the description, but then um, if you refer to the detail under Q.30.4, what need to be stated in the description are required qualification. Okay, the number of the tasks that is required. What is the purpose of the task? So when you see the word purpose of the task, this is really based on the system that you have. You can refer to Q.2. That means if there are testing required for the sanitary fitting, you have to do that. Testing for the co-water, you have to do that. Testing for the aircon, you have to do that. Again, okay, the purpose of the test are based on the system as shown in Q.2. Based on system and the instrument and any appliances required to be provided by uh, by the contractor in order for the testing to be carried out. Okay, look at the example of the description on the right hand side. On completion of the water um, installation, or you can write down plumbing installation, but this one has to be written either it is hot and cold system. Test all cold piping and fitting and make good any defects. Leave the whole a system in the perfect working order to the entire satisfaction of architect or SO. SO is normally for government project, architect is normally for private project. Why we have to mention um, making good any defects? Because we have the defects liability period uh, where that one has to be has to be uh, rectified and has to be um, making good by the contractor itself within the defects liability period. Okay, because this is the system that you have to make sure uh, that uh, there is no blockage, um, the access has to be um, carry out so that the water can flow properly and so on. Okay. Uh, next one, after you finish the testing, there are possibility to measure the builder's work. Okay. Why we have to measure the builder's work? Because the system itself comes from outside the building. Okay. So basically, once the system comes from outside the building, okay, look at the example I show you uh, in layout plan. They say this is the house. Okay, you can see sometimes uh, the dotted line and then you can see here M. Okay, this is how you check whether they are builders work or not. Once you have the pipe work outside the building, okay, outside the building, either they would like to pass through the slab or maybe the 
earth, we call this one as a trench, you have to measure for the builder's work. Okay, once you see the word M, this is for the water meter, you have to carry out the trench excavation. So that uh, particular activity is known as builder's work. Under the clause Q.31.1, all items of the builder's work shall be given according to appropriate section. So appropriate section means you have to refer back to section F if they are concrete work, section D if they are excavation and so on. Uh, now, um, after that, if you look at Q.31.2, the builder's work in connection with the M&E work shall be grouped together under appropriate heading. What does it mean? That means you have to measure all the builder's work under the main heading uh, of the co water system, but you cannot measure uh, the co water system builder's work with the aircon or with the electrical. Okay, under appropriate heading means the same heading as the system shown in Q point, Q point two. Okay, look at this example. Um, look at this example of the item that you have to measure. Okay, excavating trench not exceeding 55 mm nominal size, has to be referred to D.12.9. And then if we have the trenches for the pipe over 55 mm nominal size, you have to refer to V.2. Always remember nominal size is the internal diameter. So if you look at from, uh, from the section view, this is the nominal size, internal diameter, not external di diameter. Okay, so under section V.2, uh, we have to refer back to the drainage or the pipe work or this is the the system where you have to write the, st uh, the starting level, the average depth and then uh, the depth according to the detail that had been given uh, in the drawing. Okay, I give you example for this design. Okay, in this case, maybe if you would like to see uh, in the 3D view, it is something like this. This is the meter, and then you have something like this. Okay, so this is the valve where you have to measure the stop valve because the stop valve here is installed before the water tank. And then this item has to be measured. Uh, let me choose the different color. Okay, this part, one, two, three. Okay, you have to be careful because only part of the blue color is laid on earth. The rest may be installed inside the ground. So when that is installed inside the ground, you have to know what is the level of the trench uh, excavation. The depth of the excavation must be double checked. So if I put the dotted line here, you should know that this dotted line is the depth of the trench. Let's say the trench excavation is given or you can uh, see the detail, maybe the pipe outside the building uh, must be laid inside the trench for 600 mm deep. So you should know that the depth here is 600 mm. Okay, so this one is 600 mm uh, uh, from the ground level. That means this one, the blue color, one, two, and three before going to the building, has to be measured under external work or under builder's work for the trench excavation. Okay, logically the trench excavation has to be referred to this particular clauses under D.12.9, measure in meter, or if the uh, depth, or sorry, if the pipe sizes is more than 55 mm nominal size, you have to measure in uh, meter, but according to section V.2. V. Okay, so this has to be uh, double checked in the drawing. Right, another example for the builder's work that is applicable for this building uh, is you have to measure for the excavation. Okay, maybe this one is in the ring type. They are also uh, the concrete plane that is of, with the uh, cylinder sizes. Okay. Uh, means you have to measure the pit excavation and then after that you have to measure the foam work you have to measure for the concrete work all of that are required to be measured according to the design that you have then uh, let's say if you are referring to this particular design this is co water system but outside the building so what are the builders work first you have to measure for pit excavation 
Why? Because you can see there are puttings over there. After pit excavation, then they are from work. Okay, and then after that, you have uh, from work and then uh, the concrete work. Then you have to install this steel structure. All of that are considered as the builder's work because you need to have this in order to put in the um, water storage tank. Okay. Now, uh, this is the example on the left hand side, the example of the item to be measured for, for the builder's work. Uh, there are possibility to have the trench excavation, uh, boring or excavate holes uh, for you to install the, the concrete plane or the concrete base. Okay, and then the possibility that the bedding has to be installed be below the concrete base. And then after that, for this particular uh, item, there are possibility to install the foam work, uh, the bar reinforcement if there are uh, detail given for this particular item. Okay, now uh, we let's focus on the item to be measured for the hot water insulation. Principally, the items are similar except for the insulation and for the um, equipment and ancillaries. Because if you look at the first item, this is similar as what we discussed before. We have the item to be measured for the pipe work. So you have to check every single drawing um, because sometimes because sometimes the system has both okay sometimes uh, the system show only one and then you have to refer to another drawing for the hot water system okay this is the example where you can see both the blue color are the pipe work um, for the water supply cold water supply the red color are the pipe work for hot water supply okay uh, so if you refer back to the item that you have to measure the pipe work has to be measured in meter but maybe the material is different definitely you cannot use your pvc or pvc pipe for the hot water system you may need to use copper or maybe stainless steel or maybe the brass pipe work system okay and then um, in terms of the size of the pipe basically the size can be smaller in nominal size compared to quarter pipe work so that has to be double check then uh, similar you have to measure the pipe fitting but then you can share the same heading because this pipe fitting normally using the same material as the main uh, pipe work if they are using copper means the pipe fitting also using copper okay in terms of the design you have to look Look at the section view. For example, here you should have T. Okay, here you should have T. And then here you should have band for this particular outlet. Okay, the valve has to be installed. Uh, the, the valve normally the gate valve because the water flow, uh, flow from the boiler. And then uh, if there is any gate valve, uh, this is actually the, the valve similar. Then uh, there are also items that you have to measure for the insulation, for both insulation for the pipe and also insulation for the boiler. Some people sometimes you can see they, they put hot cylinder. So hot cylinder or the boiler are the same thing. This is normally for the centralized system, not for the individual uh, co-water system. And not for the individual hot water system where you buy the set from from uh, from the electrical shop. Uh, that is different. Okay that one not required to be installed with the boiler or the cylinder that one you can uh, get the sources directly from the cold water then the sources will go directly to the shower okay this is uh, normally the system that required centralized system where the boiler is needed then uh, you have to measure for the equipment and ancillaries boiler and hot water cylinder uh, as the uh, equipment and ancillaries ha that had that required to be measured in number Okay, so what we measure, uh, what I did mention here is actually under central heating, either this central heating is direct system or in indirect, indirect system. Okay, now if you look at uh, this example, this is what I did mention uh, previously, the pipe wall has to be measured in meter, the pipe fitting you have to measure the band, um, the T, uh, and then similar principle measure in number according to 3.8.6 um, okay for the valve you have to mention the type of the valve uh, insulation for the pipe work insulation to the boiler and also the, to the cylinder uh, then the equipment itself the boiler or the water cylinder definitely the last one you have to mention for the testing so on the right hand side is the review for the system that you have uh, you have to check again 
because uh, they are possible to have this hot water insulation if you handle the project for hotel maybe or maybe uh, for the individual project in um, in certain location like Fraser Hill or maybe in a hilly area that required to have both system okay and then sometimes individual bungalow house if you have if you have experience handle that one also require the system to be available in every single outlet even in the kitchen sink you have two outlet even in the even in the toilet every single outlet for the sink for the bathtub for the water shower shower rose means the the shower itself you have both outlet so all of this has to be double check in terms you uh in in case you would like to measure for the uh hot and cold water system okay this is the recap for the central heating you have two uh, system whether this heating is in direct or in uh, or direct system okay so look at the flow um look at the flow from the main outlet and look at the arrow that are avail available okay let's say i start from this one you can see that where is the water this is a water storage so you can see here the water will go to the heating call in the boiler Okay, the water will go here and then they are outlet pipe from the boiler. Then this one will go to the sink. This one will go to the basin. Can you see that? The, the red color. So this is the example. Okay, the sources of the main water come from the sources of the main water come from the water tank. Okay, not from the direct system in this indirect system. Now, if you look at on the right hand side for the indirect system, let me change to the blue color. Okay, uh, you can see here uh, the co water system from this one. Look at the arrow. The co water system has the pipe work that attach to the cylinder or the boiler. Then you can see from the boiler. Then you can see from this cylinder, this one will go down and then it will go directly to the cylinder again. Okay, so this cylinder is used to keep the hot water after they go to the boiler. Okay, can you see that? This is the direct system. On the left hand side, this is the indirect system. You can recap uh, from this view to see what type of the pipe work that need to be used and required to be measured. Okay, and then from this particular view on the direct system, you can see where the water will flow. Okay, you can see here hot water distribution uh, distributing pipe. We'll go to the basin and we'll go to the sink. Okay, the size of the pipe for the hot water is normally smaller. You can see here, the normal size for our uh, cold water system for the main outlet, normally 20 mm, okay, 19 to 20 mm. But you can see here, the main distributing pipe is only 15, 15 mm diameter. Okay, now uh, before we end the lecture, uh, let's review the main item that you have to measure and the cold water system number one for the cold water system you have to measure the pipe work okay so the, for the pipe work what you have to measure number one you have to measure according to the size okay please check all the size definitely you have to know what is the type of the pipe because for the size of the pipe and the type that this one has to be measured separately and number three, for the pipe work, you have to check what other material use. Different material should be measured under different main heading. So one group will be maybe galvanized iron, one group will be UPVC, or one group will be PVC. It depends. Okay. After you measure the pipe work, number two, you have to measure for the pipe fitting. Okay. So this pipe fitting can be T, can be elbow, um, elbow also similar as the band, can be also the branch. Okay. Remember, for the T, you have to write three sizes because there are three outlets. For the band, you have to write two sizes. For the branch, you have to write um, two sizes. 
okay for maybe read this one can be branch or the other one can be reducer okay so for the reducer definitely you have to write two sizes the branch can be three sizes okay but this one very rare normally t band or reducer after you measure the pipe fitting you have to measure is there any pipe work support okay pipe work support has to be measured in number then if there are any special connection means they are connection in one long run between different material you have to measure separately special connection item number five you have to measure for the uh, connection to the main okay so connection to main once you finish for all this pipe work you have to measure for the valve this one uh, is under equipment and ancillaries measure in number maybe i can put here sv first number seven okay valve for the low pressure also measure in number and then if you have um the water tank inside or outside the building that that one has to be clearly stated earlier um in the heading so this one i put water tank or we put here assistant then number nine you have to measure for testing okay these are nine major items to be measured but in your list since we have a lot of sizes and we have a lot of type for the pipe it can be it can be more okay it can grow a lot because even for the pipe fitting if we have t with different sizes you have to measure separately if we have band with all different sizes you have to measure separately okay for the hot water system for the hot water system Okay, number one, you have to measure the same item for the same, almost similar, but with certain uh, differences. This is for the hot water system. You have to measure the pipe work. So basically for this pipe work, the material can be different. Maybe the brass material can be copper. Okay, so different sizes has to be measured separate, separately, different sizes, different type with the different material.